Hi, this is Randy Nordell, and this episode is on SimNet lessons, how to create, customize, and add them to your course. Lessons are similar to SimBooks in that they're simulated content, they're skill-by-skill based, so into individual skills, and they're mastery learning where students can do them over and over. You can assign them like a, like an assignment, like a SimBook as a graded assignment. Um, you could also use them as an extra assignment. I'm going to show you a couple different ways. So they're also similar to exams in that you create them. They're not created for you like the SimBook and the SimNap project. So a couple things um, I'd encourage you for the learning part of, of SimNap. I'd encourage you to assign SimBooks for your students unless there's a really compelling reason not to, unless there's a really compelling reason to go to custom lessons. Um, a couple reasons why that is. First of all, in the sim books, the topics are aligned in a specific order that kind of build on each other. They're logical and sequential. Second reason is that the content covered in the sim books um, are the con is the content that will be in the project. So the uh, skills that are learned in the sim book align with the SimNet projects for that chapter. If you start picking and choosing um, content from different chapters or leave out content out of a chapter and create a custom lesson with that, um, you may not cover all the skills needed for the students to complete the project, or you may not have projects that directly align with the custom lesson you create. So, um, Typically default to SimBooks unless there's a compelling reason to use custom lessons. Now, there are some uses for custom lessons. So a couple, couple different, I'll show you some examples today, but you might decide, hey, we have this big capstone project coming up in Excel. I want to give the students a review to go back and review the skills covered in the chapters that will be in that capstone project. That's a great way to use a custom lesson. Another one, um, some more difficult topics such as look up the X and X and V lookups and pivot tables. You might want to create a custom lesson just to review that content um, for the students. And you can make it an, a graded assignment or not. That's up to you. So let me show you how to create a custom lesson. Custom lessons are in content. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways. So first one, I'm going to show you how to do it based on another object. So let's say based on a capstone project, I want to create a custom lesson based on the skills in there. So I'm going to click on content. I'm going to actually go to projects and find the project that I want, which in this case, I'm going to use a, uh, a capstone a capstone project. So I'm going to go down here and choose the capstone project for chapters one through four. If I click the actions menu, I can create a lesson based on that. What that what uh, SimNet does, I will uh, type a name for the lesson. Click next. And you'll notice all the skills are already pulled over in the assigned skills. So all of the skills that uh, correlate with the skills covered in the project are already picked for you. Really easy. Um, and if I notice down here, you have 34 skills. If I want to see where these skills come from, I can hover over here and it'll tell me um, for the in practice, this one comes from uh, chapter one here and so on and so on. Uh, shows you all the SLOs, but really nice, picks it for you. All you have to do is go assign it to a course. So I'll click on course assignments. I'll find my course that we've been using, the CISA 315 demo course. And then again, if I want to enable dates, I can do it. I can turn off dates if I don't want it to, be, if I just want it to be available all the time. Um, you can decide what you want to do on the assignment preferences here. Also, down here in the grade book, if it's a graded assignment, you could leave that checked. If you just want it as an additional resource, you could deselect it. So up to you how you do that, override points. A lot of these settings are similar to what you see in the SIM book and, and even some of the other SimNet projects. So I'll just go ahead and leave it that way and click on Save. And now it's assigned by that class. I could also go a different way to create a lesson. I could click on content, I could go to lessons and click the plus, which is create lesson. And on this one, I can choose, um, choose the content here if you have multiple versions. 
but we'll type a name for the lesson, click next. Now on this one, I'm creating it from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is choose the textbook. I'll go ahead and choose the Excel uh, 365 2021, the most current version. And then I can search for skills. So I can say, okay, let's, let's look for all the lookup. And there they are, I'll add all those. Let's do the same for, let's say pivot. And see what we get for pivot tables. Quite a few nine skills there, so I'm gonna add all those in. I have 11 skills that would review the uh, lookup functions and pivot tables. Now, like I did in the last one, I can click on course assignments, select the course, click add, once again, get the assignment details, and I can add dates if I want to. I can add points or however you want to do that. So um, click on Save, and that's about it. You'd probably, if you if you did add these in, you'd want to go to your course organizer and drag them to the folder where they would go or in between folders and organize this content. But these are custom lessons, so uh, they're, they're useful, um, and I hope this helps. Have a great day.